From Hollywood time, once again for Money TV, I'm Don Belarjan. Thanks for joining us. Money TV is the program all about money and what makes it happen. Well, it was almost like watching a reality TV show earlier this week when Nancy Pelosi and Charles Schumer visited President Trump in the Oval Office to discuss averting a looming government closure and, of course, border security. Trump wants the border wall and he's willing to let the government shut down to get it. The Democrats think the wall is, amongst other things, insensitive. Tensions escalated when debate began and the first jabs were caught on camera as the media was allowed to remain in the room for a while. Pelosi was uncomfortable with the media's presence. Schumer and Trump exchanged zingers about election results. And the whole thing began to resemble the Jerry Springer show, not the Oval Office's finest hour. But during all of it, another 100 or so illegal immigrants breached our southern border, bypassing the dilapidated fencing that exists there now. I, for one, was convinced of the need for the border wall after the drama and mayhem unfolded in Tijuana recently, with illegals rushing our border patrol with rocks and projectiles. The Democrats want the U.S. to be more liberal, more like Europeans. Well, many European countries have well-defended walls at their borders. The potential cost of a southern border wall pales in comparison to the annual cost of dealing with rampant illegal immigration passing at will through our poorest barriers. Now the caravanners are demanding immediate asylum or to be paid $50,000 each to turn back and go home. Yeah, that's cute. Look, you lock your home's front door at night, right? Do you do that because you hate the people outside or because you love the people inside? Now here's some love we have for you. It's our toll-free number. Good from anywhere in the world. You're watching the program, 888-259-4449, to get free information about our featured guests. When you do call, be sure and ask to be added to the subscription list of our Money TV newsletter. It is free, just like the phone call, 888-259-4449. Visit us at MoneyTV.net. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Well, our first guest this week is joining us from a trade show in Vancouver, British Columbia, Mr. Warren Wang. Warren is the CEO of ChineseInvestors.com Incorporated. CIIX is their stock symbol. Warren, welcome back to the program. Hi, Donald. How are you? Well, tell us what's going on in Vancouver. Uh, I'm attending as a media partner with uh, Ocanabis Conference. Ocanabis Conference is biggest marijuana show in Canada for the business owner, business operators. Last, um, I think last May, I attended one in Toronto. It's, tr it's very big and uh, this time I attend one in Vancouver. That's cur currently I'm at. Also, uh, we have a, we established a company called CBD Biotech in uh, Vancouver since last January and uh, we talked a bunch of uh, you know a couple of uh, service providers see if uh, we can do it being uh, business apply the license here in Vancouver it's a such an in interesting country uh, you know legalize uh, the marijuana business since October 17 this year and uh, they have a right to sell uh, cannabis medical uh, cannabis products to the world, uh, especially to the European nation. It's very encouraging because uh, we see the uh, legalized marijuana trend is uh, getting popular in the world. Uh, I think Canada, Canada can be the you know leading nation of the world right now. Well, Warren, you've been very bullish on the cannabis business, haven't you? Sure, I've been very bullish on the Bitcoin too. But unfortunately, we uh, we are in counter headwind for the Bitcoin uh, industry. So we kind of give up the Bitcoin and my, uh, my investor sent me the you know, message saying, well, glad you shut down the, you know, the Bitcoin operation. But basically, we're still running that. We believe uh, in the next few years, Bitcoin still can be running. In the meantime, we, we, it's like a, you know, the fly have two engines, so it can be more safety than the one engines. So one engine shut down, the, another engine still can operate. That's how it works. Uh, so the cannabis is running good, but uh, unfortunately, uh, there are so many growers in Canada so uh, I, I listened to the conference yesterday on the breakfast called Investor Breakfast. Uh, someone mentioned that a big player is out of uh, Canada into the global. So we, we, I think we, I, I smell this tremendous, tremendous opportunity for the Chinese cannabis company uh, like us. So we are public trading on the OTC. We're also uh, ready to go on the CSE. 
and uh, we try to spin out the CBD biotech of uh, from our parents' company. So I think the tremendous opportunity is here because there's no not many competitors in the in the world like us uh, doing the cannabis business for Chinese people. Once again, from Vancouver, B.C., Mr. Warren Wang. He's the CEO of ChineseInvestors.com, C-I-I-X. Warren, thanks so much for joining us. Great update. Thank you. Joining us now from Phoenix, Arizona, is Mr. Greg Lambrecht. Greg, of course, is the CEO of Single Point Incorporated. Their stock symbol is S-I-N-G. Greg, welcome back to the show. Oh, thanks, John. Good afternoon. Well, big news this week. The hemp bill has made it through the U.S. Senate, working its way through Washington. This has got to be great news for Single Point. Oh, my gosh. You know, it really is good news for the company and, and you know, the whole, uh, uh, the whole CBD uh, family out there. So uh, Single Point um, has over 200 products of uh, CBD and hemp on, on, their, on their website, singleseed.com. And um, we're really doing well with that. We're continuing to spend more um, on SEO marketing and add more products. So we're really excited about that, and also, um, you know, we're in negotiations uh, to uh, with a couple of different companies about uh, buying some of the their existing uh, distribution network, whether that's um, uh, smoke shops or uh, uh, dispensaries or you know health and beauty stores. So uh, we plan on on uh, immediately uh, putting CBD in those accounts as well. So. Single Point will not only sell CBD online, but also we're going to have a strong presence at retail. Well, Greg, you're already engaged in the retail cannabis industry. What with your payment app and online CBD products, you're quite embedded in the space. Yeah, yeah, you make a good point. And, you know, furthermore, uh, you know, in my previous career, I took a, a distribution company public on the NASDAQ and we were in 30,000 accounts. So. Um, you know, I know my way around distribution and CBD is extremely hot right now. So uh, we're pretty excited to be able to uh, start putting CBD in, in the retailers. And I think as things like this happen, like this bill passing, more and more retailers are going to feel more comfortable uh, putting CBD in their accounts. And I believe that this could really go mainstream. And what I mean by that, you know, uh, is CBD not just being sold in smoke shops, but uh, you know, being sold in, in big box, uh, grocery, convenience store. Um, you know, there's 370,000 uh, convenience stores in the U.S. where this product can be sold. So uh, we think that we could really have the advantage and first mover on, on putting CBD uh, not only online, but in retail stores. So this is pretty exciting news for Single Point. Well, single Point was an early entrant into the CBD space. It's really starting to pay off for you, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You know, we, we, you know, we've been in this business, uh, uh, you know, since 2014. We were putting uh, point-of-sale terminals into dispensaries. So, um, and as other things open up, like CBDs really exploded, and now they're passing the bill, uh, you know, we're able to take advantage of those and, and jump on that narrative. So... That's right. You know, Single Point is in this business and has been in this business for, uh, what, four or five years. So uh, it's not something uh, that we just thought of last month. Uh, uh, we're on this and uh, we're pretty excited about what uh, 2019 is going to bring. Once again, Single Point Incorporated, S-I-N-G. Uh, fabulous update, Greg. Thanks so much for joining us. Well, thank you and go Sang. And joining us now in studio is the Dean of Water, Mr. Riggs Eckleberry. He's also the CEO of Origin Clear, OCLN's a stock symbol. Riggs, always great to see you. It's a pleasure. Didn't call you Aquaman this week, but we'll, we'll, we'll push that to another week. <laughs> yes, well, you know, give me, you know, remember when uh, Varney back in the day called me Algae Man. I'll Algae call Man. you Algae Man. That was funny. Yeah. So uh, what's new with the company? I mean, I know there's always something going on, so basically I just give you the floor and let you rip. <laughs> Well, thank you. Uh, what's exciting right now is we're going to use the holiday break to really work on our business models for 2019. We know that especially modular water can deliver a lot of business and do so because we have a pipeline of named customers that he brought to us where we are what we call basis of design. So modular water is already proprietary. It's a fabulous solution. And as you know, we sold that, that uh, brewery last week in just three days, and now we're mounting a big brewery uh, attack. 
okay. on all the craft breweries, Southwest first, and then moving on from there. Now, when you sell a machine, it's seventy thousand, a hundred thousand, two million dollars, whatever it is, but then you've sold it right. and you've taken your money. The really sophisticated stuff that we learned in high tech is where you use network operating centers, remote monitoring, uh, real-time sensors, um, service contracts, and even more sophisticated moving to continuing to own the equipment and letting uh, you know, the user simply pay on the meter, just mm -hmm. like SolarCity, right? right? These models, when you implement them, they take, let's say, a $10 million pipeline and they turn it into a $100 million pipeline because you've got the 20-year lifespan of the customer that you can create a net present value of today. And that is, creates a very, very good business model. It's very fundable. It creates great financing partners. And as you may know, there's a lot of money looking to be placed right now in the market. Are you transitioning towards the service end of things, or will you still be selling machines? Well, we say DBOO, design, build, which we do right now, and then own and operate, okay. OO. If you don't do the OO, you lose a lot of margin, and also you're vulnerable to somebody swiping your customer. And that's why it's key to get those friendly long-term relationships. Don't pay the capital, don't pay, just sign here that you'll be on the meter for 10, 20 years. And that creates uh, golden handcuffs, really. Well, the beautiful thing about modular water, we've said this many times in the program before, but you basically move it in, plug and play, and you're in operations. Yes. Now we add the connectivity and the, net, the NOC, the network operating center, mm -hmm. boom, and we create this whole deadly embrace. It's not deadly. It's, it's, we, we love our customers. <laughs> but create this, this long-term relationship, and they love it because all they got to do is sign. They don't have to put it in their capital budgets, and they're paying on the meter, just like with the municipality back in mm -hmm. the day, they're back to that model and they love that. You know, I had a conversation with a friend of mine who's a Texas oil man and he'd seen the last interview that you and I did about uh, modular water. He was suitably impressed and this is not a man who's easily impressed, so you're getting, you're getting the right eyeballs. Well, and I'm very happy about what's happening in the Permian. We've got multiple initiatives happening. It's come to life, because as you know, the Permian has a real problem with water. They will be limited by the getting rid of treating the water. That's their limit. Well, you know, last week we talked about two different things, and one of them was the need for wa clean water in the cannabis industry. Yes. That's also prevalent in the brewery industry. Obviously, it's prevalent to clean up the water in the oil industry. So those are three markets that you can attack quite successfully. Yes, and we've got very high interest in all three, so we're excited about what 2019 can bring. What does two, what, what's your dream and goal for 2019, Riggs? Well, for sure, obviously, given the pipeline that Modular Water has, we're going to achieve profitability, in my mm -hmm. opinion. Mm -hmm. But the, you know, the real variable is the acquisitions, right? right. That's, that's something that we work on, and it happens eventually. But meanwhile, organically, we believe it will be profitable in 2019. Excellent. Once again, Origin Clear, OCLN. Uh, Riggs, always a pleasure. My pleasure. Have you heard the news? There's only one flat fee news distribution network on the market. It's called Access Wire, and it's exclusively from Issuer Direct. Any day, any time, the Access Wire news network can deliver your press release to more than 1,500 media outlets in 98 countries. Access Wire also delivers real-time engagement analytics. You will learn who read and shared your press release and more. Best news of all, getting started is easy. Visit accesswire.com and extend your company's news reach today. Does this sound familiar? Turn down for a mortgage? Credit card interest over 20%? The problem is your credit score. Unsure what your credit score is? Call the Advocacy Network, 321-947-3220. Talk to Carl. He can help you regain your financial independence. Change your life today. 321-947-3220. 3220. Talk to Carl. Hi, I'm Kevin Harrington. On Shark Tank, we always look for the next big thing. Today, it's digital currencies like Bitcoin. But everyone wants to know, is it real and how do I get started? Yes, it's real. And the best way to start is setting up your free digital wallet with singlepoint.com. They make it easy to buy, use and store digital currencies without banks or debit and credit cards. 
Use promo code SING for your free wallet and informative newsletter. That's singlepoint.com. We are back. Thanks for staying with us and joining the studio now by two executives with Nuggle Incorporated, N-U-G-L is a stock symbol. It's my immediate left, the Vice President of Sales, Bob Waters. Bob, great to see you again. Oh, it's great. Thanks. Thanks for having us back. And uh, Armando Rodriguez, you're the creator of something called Dab Shalada. We'll get, we'll get to that in a few moments. So welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. Now, Bob, a lot has been going on in the cannabis industry this week. The U.S. Senate passed the hemp bill. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of talk in cannabis. So what's up? What's new with Nuggle? Yeah, well, we have some exciting things to talk about. Uh, first, what I'd like to do um, is share with you some data uh, on the progress of Nettle, Nuggle sorry, and uh, also uh, the performance from our users. Okay. So we have a chart to look at. Yeah. So what you'll see on the left, which is pretty exciting, is going to be our total users. We're now, um, we've just broken the cap at 2298 as far as users. Wow. And yeah, it's, and what's very exciting about this, if you notice on the chart here, is that our growth is not only steady, but we're seeing um, an upward tick in that the users, along with our business listings, has increased. The biggest growth is in our business listings, where we're now at 473 registered businesses wow. that are utilized in our application. And basically what we're talking about, of course, Nuggles app, where basically it's a source for all things related to cannabis, helps connect users and connects businesses that are working together. That is correct. And one other item that I'd like to add um, on the chart, you notice our menu items. This is something new, and that's why there's probably a higher growth rate on Mm -hmm. that, on the Mm -hmm. menu items. And what that's allowing businesses to do is they're creating their business profiles, and then they're adding menu items that are available to consumers um, at their establishments or within their services. Well, as we mentioned earlier, everybody's talking about the cannabis industry right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, so your app gives people a place to go to to get the information they need. Uh, It's sort of like having a friend in the business. That's right. Uh, The way we like to talk about it is we're a community um, for the people, by the people. The development of the app, as as users will see today, is a direct result of the interaction that they've had with our developers moving along. Some exciting things are going to be rolling out here soon. For example, uh, we're going to be incorporating the ability of users to have a personal profile that will allow them to direct message with other users within our application. Um, They'll be able to interact with the business owners, ask questions, provide comments, uh, make special requests. And it's really going to help to build the review process within our application and, and truly make it reflective of the opinions and the feedback from the end users. So what you're really talking about is a social media outlet for the cannabis industry. That's right. It's, a, it's an important component thereof because up until now, individuals in the 420 space that wanted to do something like that were confined by the limitations of right. the application they were using. And we are a 420 friendly application and we encourage individuals to utilize our application and interact and communicate with the business owners. Now speaking of business owners, that's something that you're really centered on. We've talked about that before, your interaction with business. Tell us about that. Yes. So um, you saw on the chart, businesses are coming in. We're getting business listings every day. Um, Yesterday alone, we had 15 new businesses log in, register on their own, build their business profile, create a menu, and provide their products or services, making them available to the end user. Um, a, a prime example of that is going to be uh, Mr. Armando here from Dab Chalada. Okay. Well, let's talk about that because I have no idea what Dab Chalada means. I have no <laughs> idea what it is. You've got some product here, Armando. Why don't you explain it to us? Yeah, basically this is a uh, Michelada cup that's infused with... Um, Cannabis. Okay. So, um, just trying to change it up a little. So, is this is this a, is this a drink? Or I mean, kind of walk us through it if you don't mind. Uh, Assume it that is, everybody watching has no idea what this is. Oh, what it is? It's a spicy beer mix. It's oh, okay. More, more marketed in the um, Latin area. Okay. Um, it is um, infused with the concentrate uh, dab wax. Okay. Okay. And so it's infused with cannabis. So it has the. Uh, the medicinal effects of cannabis, yes. it's, in a, it's in a beer drink, so to speak. Yeah, you could add your favorite beer or juice. Oh, so you just open this up and pour the beer into, or yes. juice inside. It can be water, whatever you, whatever you decide, whatever any you, liquid. Whatever you prefer, yeah. Okay. Now, uh, tell us about your relationship with Nuggle. Um, I, they came to me and um, pitched me for some marketing, and it, it seems like it's going pretty good. I'm looking forward to it. Um, 
more things to come. Well, it's exciting to watch this cannabis industry unfold. Hundreds and thousands of new products coming out daily. That's right. And this is really what you're helping to do is provide a roadmap, so to speak, for users. Absolutely. We're encouraging uh, business owners within the 420 space to engage with us and they can engage with their, their customers and their clientele. Once again, Nuggle Incorporated, NUGL is a stock symbol. Uh, gentlemen, exciting. Thanks so much. Oh, thank you very much, Thank Don. you. Joining us now on the phone is Carl Schilling. Carl is a founder of the Advocacy Network. Carl, always good to talk to you. It's great to be with you again, Don, and your audience. Well, for those who have not seen you before on the program, tell us again what the Advocacy Network is all about. Well, we were created to eliminate all forms of financial victimization, and we've done that via um, providing awareness, creating uh, financial literacy education, which has always been free, and then lastly, helping people become financially independent, you know, through the use of, um, you know, key financial solutions. Now, over the years, you have helped consumers save something like, was it 10 or $12 million? Yeah, it's uh, running in now uh, close to close to eleven million dollars. So it's about twelve thousand people, and those were uh, the kind of situations, you know, where someone would call in and, and mention, "Oh, I was thinking of doing this," or, or, or "I was recommended to do that." You know, we do the due diligence and help them understand possibly where they might be getting victimized. Now, of course, for people, you're, you're doing great things to help consumers out. For people who want to get involved with you, you now have an offering available. Why don't you tell us about that? Yes, well, what we've done this year uh, was to work predominantly with financial services professionals, you know, because that's really the outreach, you know, the education and helping them there. So what we've done is created a, um, uh, a totally, the only interactive, integrated uh, 3D virtual uh, office, campus, and community in the insurance industry, financial services industry. And I think you may be looking at that, you know, on one of our slides so people get a feel for what that kind of environment looks like. And what we've decided to do there, Don, was we are in negotiations with several very, very large um, uh, A-plus carriers uh, who are very interested in changing the dynamics of the industry. So that's going to be a very strong vertical for us. And, and by doing that, we needed to raise a little bit of capital into um, the advocacy network. And uh, through that, Don, is that that offering we have about, um, we're looking to raise a little over a quarter of a million dollars, and, and we've done that through a, uh, uh, an offering which we can get specific on mm -hmm. if, if people want to get in touch with us. But you know how that is. It's, it's, it's something we've got to specify when we speak to people directly. I understand. Now tell us a little bit about the, uh, the benefits to the offering, if you can, whatever you can tell us on air. Uh, uh, sure. Well, we're going to have uh, the benefits are, uh, first of all, it's a three-year it's going to be a three-year uh, situation where we want to go public. The exit strategy is for us to go public at the end of the three-year cycle, okay? And that has to do with these verticals of bringing in some of these bigger deals with insurance carriers. And uh, from there, you know, we're looking at several million dollars a year in revenues flows there. So uh, going public is an exit strategy. Uh, people have a, uh, a, very, a very favorable conversion rate at the end of the three years and people will be able to uh, get uh, somewhere between an 8 to 30% return based on a royalty pool during the three years. Now, what's really interesting when we talk about financial victimization, a lot of times people don't even realize they're being victimized. Isn't that true? Well, absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, a good portion of it, Don, that I think, and that's why we're working so much with financial services professionals to help them become what we like to refer to as financial concierges, because sales manipulation is really one of the greatest victimizations. You know, people always hear about the Ponzi schemes, and they always hear about the Jamaican lottery schemes, you know, these uh, Nigerian, um, you, know, you, you know, chain letters, these kind of things, and say, oh, that'll never happen to me. Well, we see that happen a lot, okay? But what really happens is the, uh, senior, the senior citizen who ends up in a bad annuity doesn't know that the annuity has so much uh, depth in surrender charges, right? Doesn't realize they can't get money out, you know, do doesn't know what they have. And because of that, they were financially manipulated and they were victimized. Yeah, it's not always that your money's being stolen from you. In, other, in some cases where you're just being charged fees over and above what should be charged. Yeah, and, and, and the, the lack of knowledge, like even in a 401k, all the fees and 
you know, all the things that are hidden and people don't realize that uh, maybe they're not even keeping up with inflation. So it's just what we, uh, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a nature of being financially illiterate. I know that sounds hard and it sounds callous, but we live in a society, Don, where we have the highest rate of financial illiteracy in the world. Interesting. You know, and and, and this is, these are the things that can be healed and cured through awareness and simple education so that people change the way they make their financial decisions and they can reach financial independence by getting a little more aware, understanding what it is they're doing and how they can make certain changes to become financially independent. Carl, we're almost out of time, but if people want to know more about your offering, where can they get more information? Well, uh, they can reach me directly at 321-947-3220. And, of course, they can go to um, theadvocacynet.com. That's T-H-E-advocacynet.com. And uh, I'd be willing to speak with anybody on this. The Advocacy Network, doing good things for many people. Carl, thanks so much. Good luck with your offering. Thank you, Don. Appreciate the time. Take care. Have you heard the news? There's only one flat fee news distribution network on the market. It's called Access Wire, and it's exclusively from Issuer Direct. Any day, any time, the Access Wire News Network can deliver your press release to more than 1,500 media outlets in 98 countries. Access Wire also delivers real-time engagement analytics. You will learn who read and shared your press release and more. Best news of all, getting started is easy. Visit accesswire.com and extend your company's news reach today. Does this sound familiar? Turn down for a mortgage, credit card interest over 20%. The problem is your credit score. Unsure what your credit score is? Call the Advocacy Network, 321-947-3220. Talk to Carl. He can help you regain your financial independence. Change your life today. 321-947-3220. Talk to Carl. Hi, I'm Kevin Harrington. On Shark Tank, we always look for the next big thing. Today, it's digital currencies like Bitcoin. But everyone wants to know, is it real and how do I get started? Yes, it's real. And the best way to start is setting up your free digital wallet with singlepoint.com. They make it easy to buy, use, and store digital currencies without banks or debit and credit cards. Use promo code SING for your free wallet and informative newsletter. That's singlepoint.com. Join us this week in the Money Wrap radio program. For more information, go to moneywrap.com. Call us right now, toll free from anywhere in the world, 888-259-4449 for free information about our featured guests. Please join us at moneytv.net. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. That's our program this week. As always, we'll be back next week. Thanks so much for joining us.